Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So we have a, another jumble sentence questions, which is a reading based questions also. Uh, the sentence covers with the uh, four sentences and these four sentences are uh, jumbled or called as a uh, kept in a digital manner. So they are labeled as one, two, three, and four below. When they are properly sequenced, they would yield a coherent paragraph, right? So what we supposed to do, we decide on the proper sequencing of the uh, order of the sentences and write the key in the sequence of the four numbers as our answer, isn't it? This is a kind of a compulsion question that you generally meet in uh, CAT exams, right? So uh, if you have a regular practice on this, then definitely you will do good in this particular question. So let's see that what this question, uh, jumble sentence question points out here. The first sentence says, symbolically and materially, the Roman Catholic Church remains in a favorable position. Second, since the country's independence, Roman Catholicism, counterbalanced by strong free thought movements, has had an important role in Belgium's politics. Third, Nevertheless, the monarch has a reputation of deeply rooted Catholicism. Fourth, however, Belgium is largely, largely a secular country as the lessest constitution provides for freedom of religion and the government generally aspects this right in practice. Well, if you look into that, um, uh, the first sentence, what does it say? Uh, the first sentence stated here, symbolically and materially, the Roman Catholic Church remains in a favorable position. Right. Now, if you look into that, sentence one serves as the what? Symbolically and materially, the Roman Catholic Church remains in a favorable, a favorable position. Now, in that case, this makes a kind of a sense of what? Conclusion of the Conclude, conclusion or you can say concluding sentence. Concluding sentence. Sounding like concluding sentence because it is given as a finally uh, or means uh, at the end they live happily ever after. Like that. Here also it is stated symbolically and materially. The Roman Catholic Church remains in a favorable position. So this makes a kind of a conclusion or means the concluding sentence. Uh -huh. Right. So now look into the second sentence. Uh, if you talk about that uh, sentence one serves as a concluding sentence. So in that case, this cannot be the beginning sentence. This, uh, this is already pointed as a concluding sentence. Let's look at the sentence two. What does sentence two tries to point out? Since the country's independence, Roman Catholicism, counterbalanced by strong free thought movements, has had an important role in Belgium's politics. So, if you look into this, this sentence uh, serves as serves as the serves as what serves as the starting point for the paragraph by introducing the what. Uh, introducing the historical context of the influence of Roman Catholicism in Belgium's politics since its independence. Because it is clearly stated, since the country's independence, Roman Catholic Catholicism, counterbalanced by strong, free, thoughtful movement, has had an important role in Belgium's politics. So this makes a kind of idea that the situation or the argument begins here. So we just put it like one. Next, um, if you look into that, it establishes the role of the Roman Catholic Church in the country's um, political landscape. Now, if I look into the next option, that's called as option three. Now, what option three is all about? Now, if I to, uh, talk about the option three, option three stated, nevertheless, the monarchy has a reputation of deeply rooted Catholicism. So, if you see that, it begins with the nevertheless. The monarchy has a reputation of deeply rooted Catholicism. So, if you see that, after introducing the contrast between what? 
a largely largely secular society largely secular society society and the earlier influence of catholicism catholicism right this sentence focuses on the monarchy and its reputation for being deeply rooted in Catholicism. So it adds another layer of complexity to Belgium's social and political landscape. So uh, on the basis of that, you can point out um, one uh, points to the, uh, sorry, two is nothing but the beginning one, right? Introducing sentence, which is pointing about country's independence and stated about free thought movement has had an important role in Belgium's politics. Second, we talk about um, if we observe, then what we can point out here? Now, we can say that uh, the next one is called as a four. However, why? Because in one side you are saying that country's independence, Roman Catholicism counterbalanced by strong free thoughtful mo thought movement has had an important role in Belgium's politics. However, Belgium is largely secular. So one side you are saying Bel means has had an important role in Belgium's politics and the other side you are saying that Belgium is largely secular country. So one side negative, one side positive as the lessest constitution provides for freedom of religion and the government general respect this right in practice. So therefore Option two and four makes a pair. Now, after two and four, you can point out what um, uh, one and three, these two options are left. So, and if I observe that option three, option three stated what? Nevertheless. So, after telling about what? Negative and positive. So, sentence three is doing nothing but making it neutral by stating the word called as a nevertheless, right? Nevertheless, the monarchy has a reputation of deeply rooted Catholicism after introducing the contrast between a largely secular society and the earlier influence of Catholicism. Right. This sentence actually focuses, this sentence focuses on the what? This uh, sentence focuses on the monarchy, right, and its reputation for, and its reputation, its reputation for being deeply rooted, deeply rooted in Catholicism. It adds another layer actually. So on the basis of that, we can point out two, four, three, and the last one will be one. Because means as far as we find out, that what means uh, uh, sentence two, since the country's independence and pointing about it, this sentence serves as the beginning for the paragraph by introducing the historical context of the influence of Roman Catholicism in Belgium's politics since its independence. It establishes the role of the Roman Catholic Church in the country's political landscape. So sentence four makes a kind of a contrast by using the term called as a however, right? However, Belgium is largely a secular country. So this too makes a kind of a this too makes a kind of a positive and negative ideas. And then after, the government generally respect this right in practice. Following sentence two, right? So four is following sentence two. So the sentence provides a contrast by explaining that Belgium is, in fact, largely a secular country. So after two, four, we find out the three, which is indicating nevertheless, the monarch has a reputation of deeply rooted Catholicism. And one will be the last one, which is finally pointing that sentence one serves as the concluding statement. Right? Concluding statement. Summarizing the overall situation, it emphasizes that despite the secularization myth mentioning earlier, right, the Roman Catholic Church retains a supported position symbolically and materially in Belgium. So, hence the sequence should be what? 2, 4, 3, 1. So, this is the sequence that you can draw on the basis of the idea which is pointing in these four sentences. I hope you understood this.